What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Well, uh, I want to say thank you to every single one of you guys for being patient as always, because yes, I know that I have been, uh, well, I've been lacking on the, on the videos as of late. Mainly because, you know, health reasons and, uh, you know, schedule has picked up and all that crud, guys. You know how it is when it gets to April and all that. But, I haven't forgotten about you guys. Anywho, before we continue on right here, guys, I just want to let you know that this is the final episode or final recording for Pokemon Y. This being because, well, like I said, my schedule's picking up. I hardly know how to do the next event. And it's already right there on my channel, so why not just uh, show it? Why not finish these last five episodes, which are easy for me, and then show you the final five episodes, which, you know, it takes time for me to remember and all that stuff. So, yeah, let's go right ahead and get this going. So, in this episode right here, guys, I'm going to show you how to activate the Looker event. You have to do quite a few things. Some things that I'm going to be doing right here, I'm just going to, you know, do it because, well, I just remembered and all that stuff. So, first things first, we are in K uh, Kilud City, and what we need to do right here is, well, let's see, not the exquisite one. Um, we're going to be, at, we're going to have to go to the Battle Maison right here now. You have to battle the first five trainers, and then uh, from there have your final battle with your girlfriend, you know, Serena. Mm, 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 mm. Now, if you guys haven't noticed in our last episode, yes, I brought back my Pokemon X team with the exclusion of uh, Godzilla Godzilla. And uh, we're going to be going into the... No, we're not going to be uh, doing any battle points right here, even though I was offered a buttload of ones. So, Battle Maison. Let's see, who do we talk to? Talk to this lady. Welcome to Battle Maison. I'm the receptionist. What would you like to do today? Let's go ahead and do the challenge. Which format... Huh, let's see. Let's go with the single battle. So as you guys can see, it doesn't really matter which one you do. You have to, you at least have to do five. We're gonna be doing the single battle. Any any above level fifty will be set to level fifty. Three Pokemon no may enter. No duplicate items or Pokemon uh, Pokemon limitations exist. Li item li limitations exist. So let's go ahead and see who can exist or who can uh, or who can uh, actually play in this. So, we're going to be using three Pokemon, and we're going to go into the into the party, and from what it looks like to me, I'm just going to use Kakashi Hideki. Actually, hold on. Let's try, let's try this. Gaia 3, because it's the most versatile. Kakashi Hideki. And, let's go with Goku. Let's use three of these uh, badass Pokemon that I've had in my Pokemon X walkthrough. And yes, we are going to save our, our profile. And we're going to be battling five trainers. So, all right. Let the consecutive single battle challenge begin. All right. Grumble, grumble. That's all this person has to say. Anywho, why five Pokemon trainers? I do not know. And it looks like to me I have chosen correctly because look at that Pokemon. It's a Machop! We're gonna destroy it. Now, this this game, or this portion of the game, kinda, it, it seems reminiscent of the... Oh, what is it doing? Oh, my god. Oh, it's, uh, it's bracing itself. Or, weaken it. Oh, wow, okay. You're gonna weaken my... Oh, god. Yeah, these Pokemon are going to be strategic as always, and, well, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to show you guys Mega Evolutions because, well, I failed to do that in, uh, in this whole uh, this whole series. So here we go, Mega Evolution, Gaia number three. Look how elegant it is. Oh, yes, Mega Gardevoir, and we're going to go with a Dazzling Gleam and Snow Runt defeated. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, and Gotharita coming out, and I believe Gotharita is, you know, yeah, it is, it's weak against, uh, fairy types. No, not really. Here comes a Trick Room attack, so now we're the slower Pokemon, while Gotharita is the fastest one. So, let's see, Shadow Ball, can it, can it affect, I don't even know, so here goes, Fake Tears. Now, remember, you cannot switch Pokemon in this gotta be very strategic and well 
Gothrita defeated. And, uh, yeah, the Grumble Grumble is, uh, yeah, you just lost, homegirl. All right, who's next? <sighs> oh, yes, our Pokemon are, yeah, healing up and all that stuff. And we get one battle point right here. And, yes, we do want to be uh, battling. So, remember, guys, it's five battles. And didn't you come here from the Pokemon battle? Yes, I did. I wouldn't be surprised if we won this whole thing with just Gotharita. Or, no, not Gotharita, but uh, Gardevoir. And it's starting to look like it, so... I'll get the lay of the land before I even think of, like, Mega Evolving somebody. So, let's go with a Shadow Ball right here. Uh, Shadow Kamehameha. And here comes a Metal Sound. This one right here is going to lower our special defense, I believe. Yes. All right, let's try this again. Shadow Ball for the win. And there you go. Bronzor defeated. Okay, and then Staravia. Okay, so this Pokemon's going to go down. Let's go with a Thunderbolt attack right here. See what I mean, guys? This Pokemon is versatile. Holy buckets. Oh, my God. And here comes a Boldor. Okay. All right, Boldor. How's it going? Let's go with a Psychic Attack right here. My question is, how are Rock types uh, nimble against uh, special attacks right here? And here comes a Sand Attack. Okay. You know, moves such as Sand Attack, they actually work. They actually work to somebody's, uh, to people's advantage right here, guys. So, kind of teaches you uh, a little bit about like, hey, make sure, maybe you should, maybe you should have kept uh, some of those moves right there. And well, we have defeated another Pokemon trainer with just uh, Guard Devour. Alrighty, heal my Pokemon, please. Thank you. And who's next? Oh yes, another battle point. And yes, we're gonna keep on battling right here. And I'm not good at battling, but this is one uh, of the duties of a Poke fan. All right. Duties of a Poke fan. And, well, here comes Elaine. And she will be coming out with a Wingle. And uh, your boy right here coming out with Gaia the Fierce Knight number three. Remember, we got this Pokemon from Pokemon X. Our Pokemon X walked right here. And here comes a Super Sonic. So this Pokemon's a little faster than us. And it kind of just... Okay, come on. Don't be lame. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe, just maybe we, we, we found ourselves a small challenge. Come on. Oh, come on. How are you hurting yourself with uh, confusion? If you lose to this Wingle, you are dead to me. Oh, my God. This Pokemon is uh, getting on my nerves. But here comes a Thunderbolt attack. One hit KO. Say goodbye to Wingle. Yes. Alrighty. And who is that? A Whirlipede? Okay. A Venipede, I should say. Here he goes. Psychic attack. And how are these Pokemon faster than us? I want to know. Oh, my God. Okay. So, it has speed boost. No wonder. How do you get a Venipede with speed boost? That's a very rare Pokemon. And, well, there we go. And here comes a Boltoy. I, get, I guarantee you this Pokemon's faster than us, too. And, no. Oh, wow. Okay. So, here comes a Shadow Ball yet again. And this Boltoy will not go down easily. So, here comes a Trick Room. Gee, this would have worked perfectly in the last two battles. All right. Here comes Ancient Power. And still hasn't taken Gaia number three. Here comes... A Dark Kamehameha attack, and Baltoy has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that's three in a row with just our, our good old buddy Gardevoir. And, uh, well, let's heal up our Gardevoir because it actually did uh, a lot. And we get ourselves another battle point. And, yes, we're going to keep on battling right here. And uh, who is this guy? La, 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 I am a loner. Okay, so that's kind of odd. That's very odd, I, I, I want to say. So here we go with Einar, and he is coming out with a Shroomish. 
So, from what it looks like to me, we're going to be taking on a Pokemon with, uh, you know, the ability to, to use Effect Spore or any kind of, uh, you know, moves that can mess you up right here. So, let's go with a Psychic Attack. And that nearly defeats this Pokemon, but here comes a Venishock. Believe it or not, super effective against Gardevoir. So, here we go. Another Psychic Attack. For the win... I really wish we would have had a Shroomish on this team right here. So here comes Frillish. A Frillish. Okay, Frillish. Thunderbolt attack. Oh, uh, yes. And here comes a Curse Body. Oh, wow. So we are now disabled. Yeah, I see what you did right there. Okay. And what is this? What's this? Oh, it's a Flash attack. Okay. Let's go, Shadow Ball, and, uh, oh, God. Jeebus, Kravity. Okay, so come on, Gaia. Finish it. Oh, come on. Why are you being so... Why are you being so lame? God dang it. Yeah, we're getting our butts kicked right now, and... Oh, my God. Okay, whatever move it used. Okay, we are not disabled anymore. Let's go with a Thunderbolt attack. Can we get a parallel? Oh, yes. Finally! Holy crud. And here comes Solosis. Okay, so... Come on, Shadow Ball. For the win. And that's how you do it. So the streak is alive. Guard of Hours like the Undertaker. You just can't beat it. It's going to have to take for Brock Lesnar. <laughs> or maybe Roan Reigns. Okay, so here we have another... Healed Pokemon, yes. Alrighty, alrighty. And, well, battle number five is coming up, so let's go ahead and continue right here. And, hi, honey. Welcome, welcome. Have you decided uh, what you have? Yes, I did. Okay. Let's go right ahead. Take on a waitress, and she is coming out with her Carvana right here. Very interesting choice. And let's see, we get ourselves a rough skin here, just in case he wants to attack us. So here we go, Thunderbolt attack. And just like that, Carvana has been defeated. Alrighty. And here comes Duskull, okay. You know what, let's do it. Screw it, Mega Evolution. Let's go all out. That's right. Mega Evolution. Okay, so here goes a Mega Kamehameha attack. And that right there defeats Duskull. Alrighty. And then here comes Boldor. This is, what, the second Boldor that we're facing? And, uh, well, here comes a Psychic attack. And just like that, nearly defeats Boldor because it's sturdy. Here comes Smackdown. And that will... Yeah, that will pin it to the ground right here, but here comes a Psychic Attack yet again. And just like that, Boldor has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. And just like that, we have won five matches. And, uh, well, let's see, another battle point. And what happens next? We're gonna keep, we're gonna... We're going to interrupt right here, and yes. Okay, so that is that. Saving our game, and well, that gives us five matches right there, guys. So now, what is going to happen is we're not going to use a repel because, well, there's nothing to repel. Maybe the ladies and all that stuff. So once you've completed five matches right here, guys, all you need to do is go up north of Kilud City, and uh, you'll be able to find yourself a special summon right there waiting for you. As you guys can see, she has been waiting for you. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go with Bonesaw, because Bonesaw, it's been a while. Hey, Sensei, will you have a battle with me? I think you're in for a surprise. Sure. My Pokemon and I will show you what it makes us special. Ugh, you don't need to. Just look at you. You are special. Let's go. We're taking on Serena. And it's a six-on-six six battle. And she's going to be surprised herself of uh, who she's coming up against. So here we have Bonesaw 
It has been a while. It has been a long time. And, well, we're going to go with a Shadow Claw right here. But, as always, fake out. Yeah, you, you, you got to make me flinch. Have to. You have to make me flinch. And here we go. Shadow Claw for the win. Critical hit. Yes, Bonesaw, don't play around right here. And, well, let's see. Here comes a Clefable. Let's go right ahead and go straight to Goku. Our good old buddy, Goku. And, well, Goku, it has been a while, too. Goku from Pokemon X. And look at this Clefable. Let's go right ahead and go straight for a close combat. And, oh my god. And, oh my god. Okay, so... <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, Clefable, I see how it is. You know, big ol' Oh my god, a focus blast. Ugh. You gotta love how I, I I get I seem so overconfident and all that stuff. Let's go right ahead and revive Goku. How in the hell did that happen? Oh god, okay, so here's Sing. Let's go back to uh, our good old buddy. And let's go straight for a discharge attack. Now, I, I you do see the Mega Evolution uh, option right there, but I'm not going to do it. And, yes, you are paralyzed, my friend. And here comes a Moonblast. Oh, Clefable. So mean. How in the heck? Oh, my God. Yeah, I feel, I feel pretty dumb right there. Very, 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 very dumb. And, well, there goes Clefable. And Goku, without doing anything, well, with fainting, grows to level 79. Kakashi Hitake grows to level 81. Guy number 3, 84. And here comes Gl uh, Flareon. So let's go with our man, the myth, the legend, Kakashi Hitake right here. And, uh, well, Kakashi Hitake, how you doing? It's been a, a fantastic minute. And, yes, I know you're at level 80. Many of you guys, I'm, I'm starting to see... The difference between X and Y, especially with my teams and all that stuff. I took much more of a, like, well, with Pokemon X, I already knew what the team was going to be like. I wanted to do um, a Pokemon of each, like, I, I wanted to do a Pokemon of, uh, what was it called? Uh, I wanted to do a Pokemon team of six generations. That's what you're looking at. Um, in, this, in this game right here, Pokemon Y... Obviously, I wanted to do Kalos Pokemon, but I kept on switching out Pokemon from here and there. That's why the leveling's a little off right there, because, oh, well, geez, you know, kind of took my time with uh, with who I wanted to pick and all that stuff. And, well, there you go. And, uh, well, here comes a Greninja. This guy has a Greninja. So, we're going to go back to Fluff Volt. And she's, and she's wondering, how the heck did you get a, a Greninja? Well, I've already had a I've always had a Greninja. I just didn't tell ya. Alright, Greninja. How's it going? Let's go with a discharge attack, and here comes a hydro pump. And that right there hits us pretty hard. So here comes discharge. For the win. Greninja defeated. And bam. Get ourselves to level 77. And, well, we got one more Pokemon, and it is Absol. So, let's go back to Goku. Okay, let's get a little bit of a revenge. And, uh, how about let's Mega Evolve? Let's do that. It's been a while since I've Mega Evolved Goku. So, here it is. Absol, Mega Goku. Let's go with Mega Goku. Let's finish it off with a close combat attack right here. Alrighty. Okay. Look at you. Oh, yes, looking like a freaking fantastic beast right here. And here comes Absol Mega Evolving. And it's a winged emo, whatever uh, it is, Cerberus or something like that? But here comes a close combat attack. And just like that, Absol has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And again, we show Serena who the best is, and she's like... I think about what you did well and use this loss to make me better. Yes. Alrighty. 
And Sensei, this is for you. And after beating her, she will give you the Absolite, which, of course, will evolve into a Mega Absol. And she found two Absolite. Wanted to share one with you. Maybe it will help you help show Lissandra there's something to be hopeful for. I have a message from Professor Sycamore. He says he may have unraveled part of the secret to the Mega Ring and the Mega Stones. He should be waiting in the sundial by the sundial at Anistar City. So that is exactly what we need to do now is we have to go to the sundial. And I don't have a Pokemon that flies. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're here in Anistar City, guys. And the final thing to this whole, uh, well, pre-looker event thing is we need to go straight to the sundial right over here. You know, that big old stone. That big old stone that, you know, we are all amazed about. Look at that. That big old crystal stone. And if you go right here, Professor Sycamore will be waiting for you. And he's going to be like, why, hello there, Draven. Running around all over. Carlos is a rather a thi rather tiring, isn't it not? Oh, yeah. I'm the one making you do that, aren't I? <laughs> Terribly sorry about that. Anywho, well, Serena may have already told you, but I found a way to power up the Mega Ring. Before we got that, however, or we get to that, let's talk about the Mega Stones briefly. My theory is that there are special stones irritate, uh, irritated by the light, uh, the energy of the legendary Pokemon Evital fired from the ultimate weapon 3,000 years ago. And that's what I think they are. It's even possible that the stones, like fire stones, were, uh, were what turned into these mega stones. So what's the mega, st mega ring uh, that you're holding? That mysterious stone it transforms feelings felt towards Pokemon into some kind of wavelength. The Mega Ring works in a, a similar way to how to uh, how this object over here works. It's an object that changes sunlight into mysterious light. For one hour, starting at 8 p.m., this sundial starts emitting light. This mysterious object has towered over the city here over uh, for over 3,000 years. Its relationship to the Mega Ring isn't understood at all yet. Now, let's get down to the heart of the matter. Draven, try touching the sundial. Okay, and as I am touching the sundial, whoa, that was cool. You were exposed by the legendary Pokemon's energy in Team Flare's secret HQ, and the Mega Ring has absorbed the power of the sundial. These two powers have combined to upgrade your Mega Ring. Now we'll react to the underground Mega Stones that only when the sundial is emitting light, I'm sure these stones hide in every corner of Kalos. Use the power uh, to find them. Oh, huh. okay, so looks like we can do that. Okay, anywho, that right there activates the Looker event that we'll eventually look into for next week. Now, there is one last thing we need to do right here, guys. It's a very sad one, but we kind of have to do it anyways. Now, if you remember, there was an individual right here who, you know, was lonely, and we left the Pokemon just to take care of it. Well, we're going to find ourselves a Pokeball right here, and it's a Pokeball with Scraggy inside. There's a letter next to it. Draven began to read the letter. Dear Draven, thanks to the kindness you and your Scraggy showed me, I was able to keep smiling till, until the very end. I apologize that I can't look after Scraggy anymore, but I know you'll take care, uh, care of it. Finally, please take this Comet Shard as a token of my thanks. And we got ourselves a, a Comet Shard, which will sell for lots and lots of monies. And Scraggy rejoined po uh, Draven's party. Unfortunately, the individual who we shared this Pokemon with has passed on to the next life. And, well, he had a good life. And I guess that's pretty much it right there. That's pretty morbid right there. <laughs> Anywho, guys, this completes our episode right here. Man, has it been fun. I'm, I'm just going to say it right here right now, guys. So, next week... The next five episodes will be reruns of Pokemon X, and it will be the Looker event. These will be the final five episodes of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Um, as for right now, as for right here, I just want to say thank you again. Thank you guys for being so freaking patient, especially throughout the small breaks that we've taken. And, uh, you know, I've had fun playing this game again, going back and back and back uh, to this game and, and trying something new. Um, the next walkthrough will be Pokemon Ultra Ultra Moon. 
and this was vo voted on for you guys. So I can't wait to come out with that game. This walkthrough will be coming out a week after we finish up the, our Pokemon X walkthrough. So keep an eye out for that. Other than that, guys, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being patient. I will see you guys. Well, I'll see you guys next week on a rerun. But I will see you guys in the Alola region as we get set to conquer the Alola region. See you guys.